Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to program your radio using Chirp. Now, for those of you that might be completely new to the hobby, or you may be returning after a few years away, you may not even know what Chirp is. Chirp is a piece of software that you can download for free from chirp.danplanet.com. Now, I will put a link in the description below, and it's a piece of software that you can download for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And it supports a whole host of different radios, and they're always adding new radios to the list all the time. So it is a great piece of software to have. Over the past few months, I've been doing videos on programming radios manually on my channel and I always get asked by people in the comments as well as messages asking could I do a video on how to program these radios via Chirp. So I thought tonight I would do just that. What we need to do is we need to connect our data cable, our programming cable to the computer. Now if you're like me and you're using Windows, Windows 10 should automatically download the driver and install it for you for the uh, the cable. Now, presumably at this stage, you've got your radio connected and your drivers installed. So what you want to go ahead and do is switch on your radio while it is connected to the computer. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm using a Baofeng UV5R. Now, I've completely factory reset it, so there shouldn't be anything on it. So what you want to do is you want to go up to the top where it's got this little row. We want to hit radio, then into download from radio, and then select your radio from the list. So for this one, Baofeng, and whichever model number and select the COM port that your radio is on and then just hit OK. When the radio has finished cloning to the software, you'll have the list of channels that are on your radio in front of you ready to go. Now, if you've bought your radio from China, for example, there is a high possibility that some channels may already have stuff programmed onto it. Now, depending on where you are in the world, you may find you could get yourself into a little bit of hot water if you were to actually transmit on those frequencies because the majority of what these radios really do require a ham license. So what I suggest you do and really highly recommend you do is if there's anything in here just simply delete all the frequencies that are on it from stock, just to be safe. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to program into memory slot number one. We're going to program a simplex channel. So simplex means that you basically transmit and receive on the same frequency. So I'm going to program in the two meter calling channel which over here in the UK is 145.500. We hit enter. Now we can name it. If your radio has the option to display a channel name rather than the frequency readout, you can name it. So for the purpose of the video, we'll call this two meter call and hit enter. Now, because this is a simplex channel, we don't need to put any tones or anything in. Now, over here, we've got duplex. Now, because we don't need to transmit on another frequency, we can actually just select none, like so. And that is pretty much it, ready to go. So in channel slot number one, we've got our two meter calling frequency, and that's it. So I know I'm going to get asked this, so I'm going to cover it in the video. Programming in a PMR channel. So PMR446, channel 8, the 
unofficial calling channel is 446.09375 megahertz and we'll just call that PMR 8 hit enter again like when we put the uh, 2 meter calling channel in we don't need duplex on so we just click none because we don't need to transmit on a separate frequency now under mode you may find that it will just display FM which will be wide FM so under mode select narrow FM and then just click off of it and that is a PMR channel programmed the repeater that I'm going to program into the radio is a 70 centimeter repeater that is not too far from me and it is GB3WO and its receive frequency is 430 975 and we hit enter now under name again we can name it so we'll call it its identifier gb3wo hit enter again now most repeaters not all but most repeaters require some form of tone so when you key the microphone it sends a tone to open the repeater to listen so this particular repeater requires an 88.5 hertz tone so you've got other options dependent on what you're programming but this particular repeater requires a standard tone under tone we select 88.5 so you may have different hertz tones and you can just go and select which one but we need an 88.5 hertz tone so we leave it at that then we come along to the uh, duplex section which means we want the radio to transmit on another frequency so when we're listening on this frequency here 430.975 when we key up the microphone we want the radio to transmit on another frequency and we do that with duplex so the repeater's offset, which is the difference between the transmit frequency and the receive, is plus 7.6 megahertz. So we type that in there and we hit enter. So what that basically means is when you're listening on 430975 and you key the microphone, you're telling the radio to transmit 7.6 megahertz higher which then the repeater will hear that and then retransmit your over so we leave it on fm we leave it on high dependent on what power output you're using you set it accordingly and then you just simply click off of it and that is it very simple it's a lot easier using chirp programming repeaters than doing it on the handset itself when you're happy with your channel layout and you want to upload to radio you simply go back to radio at the top and you want to go down to the second option upload to radio and it'll already be selected you won't be able to change it because you're actually editing what's already on there so you want to hit OK and then you just wait for the software to clone the radio and there we have it all done it really is that simple it doesn't really take that long to get your head around it it is a lot easier to program radios with this particular piece of software anyway I hope this video was of some help to you or some use anyway and if it was you know please do consider hitting that like button below because it helps the channel a lot but there is also that other option as well i really don't mind if you're new to the channel please do consider hitting subscribe i do appreciate every single subscription 
So until the next video, I will wish you all the best 7-3, stay safe and take care. We'll see you in the next one.